thimble from it. Looks more like a bucket full. Oh, I'll leave you to it then. What? I've got a few things to finish off out in the kitchen. I'll carry on out there while you two carry on in here. Oh, uh, um, okay. Uh, uh, whiskey? What? Uh, yes, uh, I thought it would be warming. Oh, well, it's warming up. Uh, yes, but I thought whiskey would be better. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. You looked awfully surprised to see me. Oh, yes, I was. Well, you jumped. Oh, yes, I did. I do that when I get a surprise. I go, oh, and I jump. It's silly, isn't it? Almost as though you weren't expecting me. If I hadn't have known better, I would have thought that's what it was. Yes. What do you mean, yes? I, I wasn't expecting you. Don't tell me you've forgotten. Uh, absolutely everything. Totally blank. But that's why I'm here. I was wondering. Well, I haven't forgotten, you see. So as soon as I heard you were due today, I came straight over. Uh, and why was that? Well, to keep my promise. And I assumed you were here to keep yours. And what exactly do I promise uh, you? You take leave, you said, and you'll go away together forever and ever. You know, darn if I remember a thing about it. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, at it again. <laughs> what was that noise? Uh, what noise? Th th that noise now, you must have heard it. Oh, the gunfire. Gunfire? How oh, that be it? Don't be silly, Abel. Well, that's what it was and now it is. Gunfire? That's right. Oh. Oh. We've been paid in time, no, sir. Oh, what then? Oh, just down the road. What's down the road? Army? An army train came down the road? A training camp just down the road. Not far down the road. Oh, about 300 yards. But that, that, that's, that's within firing range. Well, how are they going to be pointing this way? Oh, they better not be. It does this gunfire happen all the time. <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be an army camp when I bought this place. Nobody yeah. told me about that. Perhaps you did not. Oh, don't be silly. I mean, who goes to buy a new house and says, oh, by the way, do you have an army? Oh, did you hear the gunfire in Durant? <laughs> it was a Sunday blast! It. Oh, never mind, it's not like this all the time. Oh, I'm so glad it isn't. Oh, sometimes they go on maneuvers. Oh, well, they could have a bit of peace. Thank goodness for that. Yes, well, uh, you know, uh, no wonder this place has been empty for so long, and I thought I was getting a bargain. You are, you're getting me! Well, there's no thing I can't explain, and I, I mean, I have to explain it to my. Oh, no! That will be her! Um, my, um... Mother? Yes, my mother. So you better put your dress on and get out. But I'd love to meet her. Oh, not like that. I mean, if she saw you like that, she might get the right idea. But, uh, but why? Well, well uh, you see, she's, um, she's rather possessive, my mother. She gets, um, very excited when she gets angry and she's not shouting all over the place. Oh, how awful. Oh, well, yes, so you better put your dress on, pop on, pop off, and I'll tell you when it's all clear. <laughs> Bounty. Uh, how do you do? He's 
here to give me a hand. <laughs> well, you do not appear to have got very far, do you? Oh, but you should just come upstairs. <laughs> no, no, you can't go upstairs. You must be awfully uh, tired with the rain pouring down, rattling on the car roof, nothing worse. So, what's it like upstairs? Oh, uh, very pretty. Hazel? Uh, uh, very nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, perhaps you'd like to take some of these upstairs, would you? All right, sir. Yes. And I shall come with you. No, you can't do that! Um, you will have to, perhaps you'd like to sit down. You can't do stairs before sitting down. Well, she's been sitting down in the car. Oh, uh, yes, she has. Well, perhaps you'd like to uh, see the kitchen then. Mother, she'd love to see the kitchen, wouldn't she? Oh, very tidy up there. Yes, yes, this is very nice taps in the kitchen. This way to the kitchen, Mother. Very well, but then I shall see upstairs. <laughs> but I'll take this bag upstairs in, shall I? Yes, and while you're up there, Abel, why don't you just have a look around, would you? Right, sir, right. Yes, yes, make sure the other baggage is out of the way. The other baggage, yes. Oh, the other baggage! Oh, oh, oh right! Yes, the uh, baggage, yes. yes. Oh, oh, oh. Does, does he always get so excited about the luggage? No, my dear, he's a, he's a very dull life, you see. He only has to see a suitcase and he goes, Stop raving mad! <laughs> Oh, 
I'll keep the other up there much longer. Uh, did it um, dry off? Okay. No, no, not quite. Uh, why don't they not awfully wet in the rain? So why did you not just rub it all over with a towel? <laughs> oh, oh, I never thought of that. Uh, oh. my, uh, how long now, Abel? Oh, any minute now, I should think so. Oh, what a predicament. Mr. Bond, uh, would you mind putting the kettle on? I'm simply dying for some tea. Oh, right away, ma'am. Oh, any minute now. Five down here and not up there. Well, I, I, I can't have to stay here anymore. I'm just going to put you and your mother and your bags back in the car. Back in the car? Back in the car and off. Off where? Well, well, I can't have you sleeping here. Yeah, I mean, with all this gunfire. Nonsense. After a couple of weeks, I probably won't notice anything. But you will notice it. I mean, you won't get used to it at all. So I think it's best that we put you back in the car and send you off to the village and wait. The village and wait? Yes, well, um... I will tell you when it's all clear, nice spick and span, bright and shiny, and then I'll call you. So I think it's best you both go back to the village and wait and perhaps get a hotel. I have no doubt we would be better off. Perhaps we should go to the hotel we left your father at. Yes, we would be left daddy at the hotel. He said he'd come along later. What? Yes, well, not as though we move into a new house every day. You mean your father's here? I mean, good lord, thank goodness you don't move into our house every day. I mean, so I think it's best that you both go back to the village and wait with father at the hotel. Nonsense. We came here to lend a hand. There's a lot to be done. Oh, well, um... Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Bonty, <laughs> what is happening to the tea? <laughs> oh. oh, darling, I'm so sorry, you know, for, for bringing Mummy and Daddy along. But you know how it is, I just couldn't stop them and... Oh, they do mean well. They, they just want to help. Yes, yes, I know that, darling. It's just that your, your, your mother's one thing, but your father takes a little bit of getting used to. Whatever do you mean? Well, you know, uh, where we live, they know us there, and they, they know us well, but here we're new, and what if he starts taking pot shots at the postman? Well, you'll just have to warn him, then. The postman? Yes, the postman. Oh! I do not suppose you remember to buy gas. Oh, good heavens, I'll deal with it. Hmm. You, can I come down now? Oh, how do you do? And how do you do? You arrived safely then? Yes, thank you. You look quite dry. Must have missed the rain. Yes, it had stopped before I got out of the car. Oh, lucky for you. Yes, it was, wasn't it? I got soaked. Really? That's why I'm dressed like this. I did wonder. Um, yeah, I'm dressing upstairs. I took it off in a bedroom. What a super bedroom. Is it really? Absolutely super. Perhaps I shall see it someday. Any time you like. Well, thank you very much. I say, I hope you don't these aren't my clothes, of course. I didn't think they were somehow. They're his. Sorry? His clothes. I thought they looked familiar. I say, I hope you don't mind my saying something. Please go ahead, so whatever you feel like. You're very much younger than I expected. <laughs> Am I really? <coughs> well, yes, you don't look very much older than I do. Well, thank you very much. I suppose you have been taking care of yourself. <laughs> well, I've tried. I mean, face of turn a hormone there. And Botox. What on earth made you think that I would look older? Well, just from what he said about you. Chester, yes. He told you that I would look older. Well, not exactly. I just assumed you would be from what he said about you. I see. Oh, dear, you're not angry now, are you? <coughs> no, not yet. I couldn't bear it if you started shouting. Well, I shall just have to try hard and control myself then, shan't I? Well, it's so much better if you don't, you know. Perhaps trying to count to ten, you probably wouldn't want to shout at all. I can't turn the bloody gas on. No, no. Oh, Chester. Yes, dear? Do come and join us. Um, we are having such an interesting little conversation. Yes, I thought you might be. Um, have you introduced yourselves yet? No, no, not, not yet. Not exactly. Oh, good, good. Well, um, hello, Mrs. Bounty. What are you talking about? Well, we, we didn't know you'd come back so soon um, this afternoon to, to clear up at all. Did we? Did we, darling? No, we didn't. No, we didn't we? Did we, Mrs. Bounty? Didn't we? No, no, we didn't. But I no, 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 you're not tired. Yes, you're not tired. After cleaning up the whole morning, she was here the whole morning, I think it's best that maybe you go upstairs and finish off upstairs. She's only just come down. Oh. So you've finished off upstairs then? 
Yes, in fact, I think I'd like to go and see upstairs now. Jolly good idea. And then perhaps Sir uh, Mrs. Bounty can carry on down here. Yes, rather. Um, can I show you the way? No, thank you. I think I can manage. Oh. My eyesight is still quite good, you know, oh. considering my age. Oh, oh. <laughs> I told you to stay upstairs. I couldn't stay there forever. And what are you doing with my coat on? Whatever will people think, you better take them off. Oh, all right. Well, not now. I mean... Well, make up your mind. Oh, oh, what did you say to her? She sounded awfully cross. Oh, nothing. We had a nice little chat. But you didn't tell me she was so young. What? You can't stay here. You better go put your clothes on and pop off and pop along. But why did you tell her I was Mrs. Bounty? Because she doesn't know about you. Well, you don't have to tell her sooner or later. <coughs> ah, 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 no. Standing here, I can feel history throbbing in my veins. 
Well, I wouldn't stand there throbbing too long. That's where the dry rot started. It was fate that brought me here. I was drawn here inexorably. I mustn't waste one single minute. The very bricks are alive with a sense of the past. Where do you find him then? You just walk straight in. Well, we'd go keep an eye on him before he walks straight out with a silver. Oh, he wouldn't do that, would he? No, you never know with folks like him. He might not be as daft as he looks. Oh, dear. Hey, you've got a man's shirt on. I didn't know that. <laughs> Gone? Good. Right, see you soon. Oh, thank you, Abel. You got it working all right, then? Uh, I fell back on the primus. Good grief. I've been branded. But what about the cooker? Could get it started. Looks like it's stuck for good, sir. That's what, sir. That's that. Well, you'll have to get a man from the village to come and look at it in the morning. Right, sir. First thing. No, you can't be falling back on your primus all the time. Uh, right. I'd better take in their tea upstairs. Here. If you can get in, they locked me out. Oh, like that, is it? Well, you can never please a woman. Right, that was a pair of you said was coming on later, I take it. Yes, but you arrived too soon. Uh, what about the other pair? I didn't even know she was going to be here. Oh, life's full of surprises, isn't <laughs> no. it? So, never mind, you've got plenty of ladies to help you tidy up now. Too many. I gave the blind a cup, a cup of glass. Oh, uh, yes. That should keep their heads down for a bit. Yes, that should do it. Are you drinking on duty? Oh, Father, it's me. What? Your son-in-law? What the hell made you choose this place? Oh, now, don't you start with me. Too much cover. They could creep up and surround us in no time. Just look at that. Oh, you must remember you're not at home anymore, Father. What's that? Well, uh, you have to behave. It's all very well taking a pot shot of the postman. But here, yeah, they're not used to that. It certainly is. Their defenses are appalling. That's good, Father. I heard a gunshot. I thought you were gone. What's this? I'm not calling up women again. Oh, then. What's he talking about? Name, ah! rank, ah! and ah! Ah, She's not in the army. She's wearing a man's shirt. I know. It's mine. Ah, share and share alike. That's the spirit. Good man. Now, what's your name? Carol. She's not the same one you had before, is she? Uh, no. Uh, I'm sure we'll find a place for her. Is that thing loaded? <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> what's he talking about? I don't know. I, I, I think it is here I've come from the shooting. What? Well, Partridge, I suppose. Oh, no, not Partridge. He's not as bad as all that. What are you talking about? Oh, well, I'd better go and keep an eye on this all the day. Stop! Ah! Did I take you permission to leave? Sorry? Discipline. You must have discipline, remember? I was just going to the kitchen. Ah, check the rations. Splendid. Carry on. Permission granted. Thank you. Oh, there you are, dear. I thought I'd held you. Always take the fight to the enemy. Very good idea. Oh, once it's dark, we'll have to mount guard. It's jolly nice idea. Oh, I bought tea and now nobody wants it. Oh, man. Good idea. Shot. Stay where you are. It's all right. This is Mr. Bounty. He's with us. We wouldn't like a cup of cold tea, would you, sir? Uh, no, thank you. No, no. I'll have some cocoa with the men later. The men? Don't tell me there's more coming. <laughs> so you're in charge of catering, eh? Yes, yes, he's, he's the cook sergeant. So why aren't you in uniform? What's he talking about? I haven't been in uniform since 1945. Oh, pay no heed to Mr. Walty. He's my husband. Oh, I am sorry. Yes, he's always a longing for the old days. Yes, I can tell that. Shall I go make some more tea, then? No, thank you, Mr. Walty. I don't think so. We... Uh, have to watch you don't fall back on your primacy. Uh, right, right. <laughs> I think I'd better go and examine the arcs of fire. Uh, you'll be on duty tonight, Sergeant Dan. Oh, I should be to you. Guard duty tonight. Oh, I was going home to the wife. Out of the question. All we get leave is cancelled. In the death of them. You'll soon get used to it in time. <laughs> Well, I hope he doesn't expect me to stay here. I, I, was, I promised a wife, you see. Well, of course you did, Mr. Bonte, and I can quite understand you yeah. wanting to go to her. I'd be in dead trouble if I don't. Well, you're a lucky man. I am? Yes, well, she's very pretty. Oh, why? Yes. You call that pretty? Well, you obviously don't appreciate her. Oh, I'll have to take a good look at her when I get home, but I didn't know you'd seen her. Oh, I've seen her all right. Here, he's firing that thing again. I'm getting out of here while I'm still in one piece. Oh. Mummy, you must just have to speak to him. You know he never pays me the least heat. Well, he'll just have to. He's just gone and taken a pot shot at the paperboard. Oh, 
when I was there reading the news we shall be in it. Did he hit him? Good luckily, no, the boy was far too quick. Oh dear, he gets so depressed when he misses. Mummy! <laughs> The rafters themselves are pregnant with the sense of the past. 
How did he get in? Well, I don't know. He wasn't here when I went upstairs. But you won't grant he hasn't taken the silver. Silver? What are you talking about? I thought you said she had gone. Who? Mrs. Barnes. Ah, uh, yes. I, I did, didn't I? Well, she, she had to go home and cook supper. Now she's back. She's done the scrubs. And what is my <coughs> suitcase doing, darling? <coughs> Your suitcase? Yes. I popped home, packed a few things, and put my case upstairs. Oh. Perhaps your mother got Mrs. Barty a suitcase as well. Oh, yes, that's exactly the right. Uh, you see, um, it was an offer in Little Hampton, three for the price of two, and uh, Mrs. Barty was there, so she also got one. And that's my nighty. <laughs> Vibrations from the past. 